So your teacher has sent you an angry message saying that your work is not shared properly on your Google site. Even if they didn't sound angry, don't worry, they are. They usually have their own deadlines to mark your work by and you're stopping them from doing this and causing them to stay up much later than they should to get you to fix it. First of all, I want you to understand the pain that your teacher's feeling and see things from their perspective. So go to your Google site that should be in your My Drive folder. Click the drop down arrow up by Publish and click View Published Site. It all looks okay from here, right? But that's because you're logged into Google as you. I can see on Google Chrome, I'm logged in here as myself. And because of that, I can see everything because I'm me. But when your teachers come to view this, they're gonna have a different experience. To see how it is for them, click on the URL link at the top of your browser and hit Control C or Command C to copy that. And then right click on your Chrome icon at the bottom of your computer and click on New Incognito Window. Now paste the link to your published site in here. It has to be your published site, not your editable site. And you can see that even though this is my published site, I still need to log in to use it. This means that you will fail your work forever. To fix this, go back to your editable site. So close down your published sites there. And in your editable site, click on the share with others button at the top, which is this picture of a person with a plus. Then, it got it, at the bottom, you can click on where it says links. It doesn't look like a button, but it actually is. Where it says publish site, it says restricted. That's really rude. It means no one else can see it. Hit public instead. This time, anyone on the internet can find and open your site. Hit done. Now, let's preview this again. Click on your drop down arrow, view publish site, copy the URL if you haven't already done so, and paste it into a new incognito window. And let's see how this goes. Great. So this looks like the website has been shared, but that there are two things that have been embedded but have not been shared properly. You will need to go back to your editable site to find out what they are. So from my editable site, I can see there's a video here and a Google Slides. I would need to manually locate them in my Google Drive and make sure that the folder that they're in is shared properly with the world. So I'm gonna go back to my drive and I can see that they're sitting here, not inside a folder, but floating around loose like a fart in a bucket. I could right click and share each one individually, which will fix it for the time being. But once you continue to make more work in the future, you will forget inevitably to share them and cause your teacher even more unspeakable pain. If you cannot find the files from your website because you're disorganized, no worries, just make them again from scratch and then do the following. To share the files, simply right click in an empty area of your My Drive and click on New Folder. Call this the name of your class unless you already have one. Hit Create, then simply drag the files that are for that class into that folder instead of leaving them hanging around out here. Great, now you can right click on that folder and click on Share. At the bottom again, click on where it says Get Link. This brings up the option to change it from being restricted. So click on restricted and change it to anyone with the link. Then hit done. Now I'm going to paste my website link back into my incognito window again and see how it looks. So even though I'm not logged in to anything in Google, I can still see my website and I can still see the content for my class in here. So it's worked perfectly. So now make sure that all future work that you do for this teacher and this class is put into that folder and it will automatically be shared so that anyone can see it. Now your teacher can mark your work and go to bed.